Kia ora, no mai haere mai, and welcome to U of A Airlines. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. In case of an emergency and you forget how to breathe, a mask will drop down from the compartment above. Please turn to the closest attendant that will show you how your lungs will work. The diaphragm and internal intercostal muscles relax. The ribcage descends and the lungs recoil. Intrapulmonary volume decreases, compressing the alveoli. Intrapulmonary pressure increases and is now higher than the atmospheric pressure. The pressure gradient forces gases to flow out of the lungs. This movement is passive. If on this flight you experience turbulence, we will explain to you what is happening on various parts of the plane. When we experience turbulence on the plane, in other words, breathe in and breathe out, there are specialised tissues of the lung that help aid in this movement. The lungs are protected and covered by the pleura, which has two layers, the parietal and the visceral membrane. The parietal is attached to the thorax cavity, and during respiration, it is pulled along with the ribcage's movements. Visceral pleura is the innermost protective layer of the lungs. Both layers are composed of connective tissue and a secretory epithelial that produces a cirrhosis fluid that separates and lubricates between both layers, minimizing friction during respiration. Alveoli found at the terminal end of the bronchiole are made up of squamous epithelium that aid in gas exchange. Compliance is vital for the lungs to expand and recoil. Healthy alveoli have good bounce back. What prevents alveoli from collapsing is surfactant that is secreted by type 2 alveolar cells. This makes it easier for the alveoli to expand and recoil with air movement. The diaphragm is inferior to the pleura. It is made up of muscle and tendon tissue. When the muscle contracts, it shortens, causing the tendon to flatten and increasing the volume of the lungs. When the muscle relaxes, the diaphragm bends, decreasing the volume of the lungs and forcing air out, resulting in expiration. Thank you for choosing to fly with U of A Airlines. We hope you enjoyed this safety presentation and have a clear understanding of how air moves in and out of the lungs and what tissues of the lungs aid in the movement of air. You must first begin to breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Then drop, then drop, then drop, then drop, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Then drop, then drop, then drop.